Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us over the next four nights as we show you what we did during our honeymoon trip. We're gonna take you along as we stay in two of the nicest hotels in Las Vegas. Eat at some of the best restaurants on and off the strip. We've chosen restaurants that are cheap eats and over the top expensive. We'll be taking in a concert and a professional sporting event. If you're planning a honeymoon or just an over the top trip to Las Vegas in 2024, we hope to share some of our tips and recommendations to have the best time in Las Vegas and show you how much it all costs. Let's go. All right, we just landed. That's right, and we're in Vegas. Yes, <laughs> and we're getting all fancy because it is our honeymoon, so we did get a limo that picked us up here at the gate. $110 with Captain. We'll see how it goes, and we're gonna go get some champagne. That's right, let's go. All right, totally didn't realize I got this big of a car. Check this out. <laughs> all right, so I said it wrong. It's actually presidential by Captain with a K, but I can't wait to get inside. First stop, Circa. First time staying here. All right, so our room was not ready yet. So we took a Uber over here to Letty's for nine bucks. We're gonna have some Mexican food for lunch. in the books. That was delicious. Was so Buddies. Good. Check out uh, our video. We'll have a separate review on it out of this as well. Yes, but um, here's the teaser. You want to eat there. You do. Yeah. If you like good Mexican food, go check it out. Mm -hmm. um, also, the Arts District. We've actually been here quite a few times now and we enjoy we it more and more it. every time. Yep. It's, you know, maybe about a mile from the downtown area. It's not too bad. Not but too it's, bad. It's like right in between the Strat and then what you would consider downtown. The yeah. start of downtown. Um, never walked it at night. Don't know that I ever would. No, we don't plan on it. But during the <laughs> daytime, it's super nice and it's a cool area. All right, so our plan now is we're headed back to Circa. Try to check in. Hoping that we can check in now because we'd like to check in at our second hotel of the trip um, today. It's Vidara. We are double booked. Um, mostly because we had already booked Vidara and then we suddenly got this comp offer for Circa. And we've wanted to stay at Circa since they opened. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So you'll see the, the price of these both are zero. Right. Luckily we did get comp offers. Um, but we have dinner over on the strip and a concert. Garth Brooks at Caesar's Palace. Yes. Yay, so excited for that one. So we're hoping to check in, maybe unpack, maybe just change. Yeah, we don't know yet. It depends if we can check in. We might just gamble. <laughs> yeah, we might just gamble and have another drink. Yeah, we'll see. All right, if you're in Vegas for any extended period of time, getting alcohol or waters at an ABC store or Walgreens is the best option for you, so we're gonna get some here. It's alive, it's alive. Uh, some crummy gambling got us to the point where our room is ready so we're going to check in all right we are in room 3815 first day at circuit let's see how this room is so it is about two o'clock so we got in a little bit early this room looks really nice all right we got a little bit more light on 
We can see there's a nice little couch right here. I like the artwork, the bed. They definitely have a lot of gold. Yeah. That's like an old school vibe. Um, and it does look like we end up with a circus swim view, which is very cool. We did not even ask for it. Um, we meant to, but I forgot to. And then you've got the strip right there. You can see Fountain Blue, Resorts World, Strat. There's a pool. We're going to do a pool day tomorrow. If we can. I don't see anybody at the pool right now. Or very few, like, right at the top deck. Wimps. I think it's too cold, probably. But let's check out... Uh, the bathroom looks real cool. There's more of that gold. I do like the two sinks in a basic king room. And then you got a toilet. I like it. All right, we've been in our room for a little bit. We got cozy. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, we unpacked. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say that the pool does put off some <laughs> <laughs> There's some bass yeah. for sure Even though it's not busy at all down there No, there's like zero people down there But yeah. they got the bass thumping yep. uh, But we are going to head down towards Vidara Then we got dinner, then we got our show We got a busy night It's Vegas, y'all Let's go Alright, a lift ride later We are here in a 17 Hopefully we can get a free upgrade. Good news, there is priority access for gold. And your reward. Oh. MasterCard. And the MasterCard. So here we go. All right, well, I'm just gonna give it a quick view of what this room looks like. They upgraded us to the Vidara Suite. Um, yeah, this was supposed to be almost like a parlor, I think is what it was, or a studio. Um, you can see there's a full-size fridge. All right, so when you come in, there is a half bath right here. Looks nice. Dining room table, you can eat your leftovers there. <laughs> Who has leftovers? Some people. Um, nice little living room living setup. Area, yeah. So we have a view of Aria, it looks like, and Allegiant Stadium. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, this is a better room than what I think we stayed in before, too. So I believe that it was a complimentary upgrade because of our gold status. You can see there's two closets. Nice size bed. Do you see the tub? Uh-oh. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, this is a better bathroom, I think, too. All right, well, there you go. This is the Vidara Suite. We will be staying here the second half of our trip, but we are booked now. Oh, look at how cute her hair is. <laughs> All right, I know a lot of other people have already shown this, but this is the walkway to the Cosmo. This is the walkway to Bellagio. That's one of the great things about the location of Badar. Grab a cup of drinks before dinner. You do not need a ticket to do this. But Rachel sees the bar. All right, Rachel is doing the tickle me tipple, and I got the Latvian love potion. Mega Steakhouse, Peter Luger, it was good. Yeah, very good. Check out that video. We'll have another full review on it. Here's a few clips from where we ate there, but we had a really good steak. Yes. Um, we're going to play a little bit of Casina. 
and hope to win. <laughs> and hope to win, and then we're going to Garth Brooks. We got about 40 minutes to kill. That's right. Yes. So, what, what's better to do in Vegas before a concert? Well, Hello. you know what's better to do? What? Hit that subscribe button. Oh, if you are enjoying this video and you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe, and you can come along on our journey. That's right. All right, well, we are headed into Garth Brooks, and apparently they take your phones, so no concert footage coming your way, but we'll see you afterwards. When the thunder rolls, I tried it, just merely survived if you're standing outside. I never had a mouse calling bad news, and I'm much too young to feed this damn old. All right, concert just got out. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Simply amazing. amazing. Yeah. And they do, they do take your phones away, put them in a little pouch, you get to hold that pouch all night long. Yep. But it's so worth it. So worth it. It Def was the best Garth concert I think I've ever seen. I think For it's sure. one of the best concerts I've ever seen. I agree with you. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely probably somewhere in the top five. Um, he's very in tune with the crowd. He he's goes very emotional with everything. too with it. Yes. Oh. If you can make it. Go to Garth Brooks here at Caesar's Palace. Absolutely. All right, let's get out of here. All right, good morning. Good morning. Um, it's about 10 a.m. We actually did get up, got some coffee down at Jackpots. We slept in. First, we slept in. Yes, which was we amazing. To. Yeah, yesterday was a long first day. Yeah, and I will say, from comparing it to the D, I didn't hear any noise last night. No, there's still yeah. some constant thumping, but it's very minimal compared yeah. to the D. Compared to the D, that was crazy. So. Yes, mm -hmm. um, but jackpots was good. We had a lemon cruffin just to like kind of do a little bit of play. Yeah. Gambling has not been good. It has not been great. <laughs> no. Um, I, I had thoughts of inserting some bonuses, but there's been so few. I was going to say, we, I And they've all been bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, the one bonus I had was like $6. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah, not good. Uh, the one tough thing is I've had some issues with my free play and my food and beverage. Um, been talking to some managers because suddenly it was pulled five days prior to us arriving without me knowing. So that's a little frustrating because mm -hmm. um, we were anticipating about... $300 worth of food and beverage and free play, um, all total, for both November and December, which we're crossing over. So they're going to get back to me on that. Hopefully we'll have a good resolution later. So we're going to go eat breakfast. Yes, we are headed to Winnie and Ethel's. It was the winner of, I'm going to say this wrong, but I think it was like the Las Vegas coffee shop winner or something. Oh. They got like almost a million dollars to start up one. It's based on like a 1940s roadside cafe. All I know is it said a 25 cent cup of refillable coffee as long as you buy an $8 yeah. entree. And we plan on buying an $8 entree. Who doesn't like that? Yeah, so yeah. we'll take it. Let's go. So on our walk is the uh, pawn shop from History Channel. Yeah, Pawn Stars. We're not stopping here though, but you can. But I think there's also a barbecue place. Yeah. yeah, right there is Rick's Rolling Smoke, I believe is what it's called. Really busy in there. Yeah. So, if you're walking this, all right. So our walk is about a mile and a half. It's over here in the Huntridge shopping area, which is Charleston and Tenthish. Surprisingly enough, this is not our first time in this shopping area. Huntridge Tavern is one of the stops that we did for our dive bar crawl. And you can go to it right over here under the wing experts. All right, we just finished up over at Winnie and Ethel's. It was great. Man, we've picked some good winners so far. Yes, we have. <laughs> I am excited for this honeymoon trip because we've yes. had a good start. We have, like, yeah, three for three so far, yeah, I would say. I agree with that. Um, check out, there's a full length video on that one, but we're gonna head back towards Fremont. Um, try to hit up a couple breweries, I think. Yeah, they have one at Main Street Station and I think Four Queens is the other one. Yes. So we love craft beer, so let's see if we can find some. Awesome. So if you're wondering a direction, so on the left hand side there you can see the Strat, 
And then right over here, you can see Circa and the D. So that's about where we are. <laughs> All right, we are walking by this guy. Kind of, looks like we gotta just walk inside here. So let's check out Pond Stars. So the cool thing is, Rick is actually here for photos. <laughs> Rachel, you wanna go take a pic with him? Yeah, it's like life size. Check that out. Snap. First time at Four Queens, signed up for a card. And we got $5 free, free that we're gonna spend. First time trying out uh, the NFL game. If we get a bonus. And it's good. And it's good. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like. Go Broncos. All right, bad gambling continued for me, so Rachel is gonna be buying me a beer here at Chicago Brewing Company. She did, she did pretty good. But this is at the Four Queens. I didn't do great, but I didn't do bad, so. Yeah, that's all you can ask for here, I guess. Yeah. All right, so it's a little dark in here, but they have some video poker, Kino, and we got two Hathaways. So it's a really cool area. It's a low ceiling, but have a nice spot to grab a good beer. And we're enjoying these. All right, beers were good and they were comped because we were playing at the bar. Yeah, 25 cents a hand Kino, so that's not bad to get yeah. a free beer. And it was good beer. It was really good beer. Uh, next up, Main Street Station, they have a brewery here as well. If you have not been in Main Street Station, uh, this is actually one of Rachel's favorite uh, downtown ones because it's so pretty. Whoops, this place doesn't open until five, so. But here's another brewery downtown if you are interested. We have had drinks here before and they were good. All right, we are up to the room. Um, another losing gambling session, but um, I did want to give a quick little update. Uh, so far, we still have no resolution to the um, free play or resort credit. Um, I've called the same guy, but nothing so far. But the thing that I thought was interesting is that you can see, again, the two lower levels of the Circa Stadium Swim are not used right now. You can see just straight down below, there are people on the upper level and I asked a security guard about it. Um, and he said that if it's not busy, they actually don't open up the other areas. So if you're here and you want full access, you're actually not gonna get it if it's, you know, kind of a cooler, less populated day, which this is a Thursday. So um, kind of interesting little tidbit. So an interesting circuit tidbit I just learned about, because it's about 3.30 in the afternoon and our room did not get made up, which we do like daily service. Um, the guy on the phone actually said that you have to hit the button saying service uh, if you want them to come and do daily service, which we had not been told by the front desk. So there you go. It's right at the front door. Um, he just said, don't put your privacy thing out and go ahead and hit service. All right, we are all dressed up. You do have to have it meet a dress code to go to Legacy Club, so we are doing it. That's true. How much does this cost us? Um, it's $100 if you don't show, so I'm guessing it's $100 minimum spend as well. Yes, um, so it's like the Sunset Fireside, I believe? Yeah. We'll see, we've never gone there yet. <laughs> all right, so news to us. Uh, there's a center elevator, there's a hotel room elevator. Neither of those take you to Legacy Club, nope. so we were sent to the concierge desk. That's right. We'll find it, hopefully. Yeah. Soon. yeah.
Legacy Club has many options for the sunset package. One of them is an inside option, outside option with a minimum spin, and then the fire pit, which is $500 minimum spin. I know I did not pick that one. So I did the regular outside. I don't mind being a little chilled. It's gorgeous up here. It's it absolutely beautiful. And you get two cocktails and a champagne toast at sunset. Which so. the cocktails are $19 each. Yeah. And the champagne. So you're talking already, you're, you're pushing 120 bucks just yeah, in drinks. Just in drinks alone. So not bad. Um, so basically, you're paying 80 bucks for the view. I think so, yeah. Yeah. It looks pretty nice, though. So the drinks definitely look like higher end ones. The thing that I thought was really cool is you can do a build your own old fashioned. I might have to try something. I've never put one together like that. So hopefully, I don't mess it up. But there's also food. No, there's not. The share balls is alcohol. <laughs> Oops. I don't think I saw food. All right, new table. Um, it sounds like there must not be that many people, so they're just moving all of us to fireside tables. So we're gonna get the fire. I did ask twice <laughs> to make sure we're not gonna charge $500 for this, and we're not. Or that's what she said. <laughs> but you can see the sun is starting to go down. And they brought us a little charcuterie board and some champagne. And our first drinks have been ordered. All right, first round of drinks are here. Mine is on the left. It is a What's Your Number? And this has Casamigos Blanco, Ancho Reyes Verde, Coconut, Agave, Citrus, and Fire Water. And I went with a heat level of three. And then Rachel went with the Devil's Advocate, which is Campari, Aperol, Fino Sherry, Velvet, Falernum. Guava and lemon. Do you know what any of those things are? I know what Aperol is. We've had Aperol and spritz, and I know what guava and lemon are. Good, good. <laughs> and I think sherry's a wine. And the fire is on. Thank, thank goodness, because it was starting to get chilly. <laughs> but the sun is going down, and it's super pretty, though. All right, second round of drinks. Rachel got the El Diablo, which is Dos Hombres Mel Mezcal, Cream de Casas, Lime and Ginger Ale. Is Dos Hombres the boys from Breaking Bad? Possibly. I would say you need to stir it before you just take a <laughs> sip out of the straw. Yeah. Because Rachel took a big old shot of mezcal to start I was like, it off. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I did a build your own old fashioned. I did Russell's Reserve 10. And my sweetener was maple. And my bitters was cherry bark. I was actually hoping to see a big old chunk of Stick bark. Of wood. Yeah, that would be funny <laughs> to see. Uh, but it is getting darker here. It is now 512. It is getting colder. Luckily, we got a fire. Um, it looks like there's only two tables that have reserved it this way, so you might be able to do it without reserving. But we're gonna buy the drinks anyway. That's pretty cool. Drinks are good. Drinks are great. They're huge. They were like, strong. For big size drinks. Yeah. I think they're big For $19, size. I would actually come up here and have those drinks and just take in the view. I, I don't think you need to do the sunset package because obviously we were one of two couples that did it. Yeah. But I'd come up there again. We're going to go grab some drinks with Steve and Shana from Vegas Our Way. Check them out. We'll leave the link down below. Barry's killed it. Barry's uh, killed it. It was so good. We were ready to get out of those fancy clothes. We're going to go play some casino games with Vegas Arway. Vegas Arway. If you haven't Shana. checked them out, links down below. Or maybe it's over there. Might Check be. it out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, late night things happen. <laughs> it's the next day. Shauna, Steve and Shauna are a blast. Go check them out. We had a good old time. They might, they probably have more footage than we do, but. And I'm pretty excited to see what they ordered for room service last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but we are here at Jackpots this morning. We got two, two egg sandwiches. Those are big sandwiches. They are big. Well, a couple of waters, a couple of coffees, 44 bucks. So if 
I didn't say, our uh, food and beverage did get fixed at about 8 o'clock last night, right before we went to dinner. And when it switches over to the month, you go shopping before we go to the next one. So we got our drinks for the next couple days. We are back at Vidara, just dropped off our stuff. We're headed over to Planet Hollywood for Rosa Mexicano. I am so excited. Hey. Very excited. Cool. All right, we just wrapped up here at Rosa <laughs> Mexicano. Oh, that food is so good. It was very good. And yeah. Fairly reasonably priced, actually, for yeah. the size you get, the quality. Overall, we, I thought it was really good. Yeah, we got so much food that we are truly taking yes. leftovers back to the room. So for that price, I think it was great. I think about $115, so not too bad at now, all. Now, she did take our drinks off. Yeah. That's why it was $115. Yeah, so probably closer to sure. $150 pre, pre tip. The coffee stand nobody remembers. So there's never a line here at Aria. That's good. What do we get there? Holy crap. That's 400 bucks. All right, there we go. Nice job, Huff and Puff. That'll pay for a dinner. If we don't lose it all. <laughs> Back in an elevator. That's right. We're just Floor. <laughs> uh, we were just over at Aria for about two hours, yeah. and we came back up a hundred bucks. That's pretty good for yeah. us. Yeah. At some point, we were down about three hundred. Yeah. So coming back at a hundred up, I would say, is pretty dang good. That's a good good day. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready for dinner. Big fancy one tonight. That's right. Headed over to Bellagio for dinner. Yes. All right. We are on our way to dinner. We are going to Prime. We're gonna get some more steak. Yeah, we've been there once before, but it was well before we started the YouTube channel. So hopefully yeah. it's just as good as we remember. Yeah, we're, we've talked about yeah. wanting to eat outside, but it's chilly, yeah. so, <laughs> and we don't know if there's warmers. Yeah. We'll, we'll see, see if we end up out there. So we had an amazing meal at Prime earlier tonight. My goodness, um, so good. And then we just gambled away over at Bellagio and we actually made a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, so we played a new game and I found it really fun. It's got these little soup dumplings. Yeah. Super fun game. Yeah. Awesome, and yeah, just kept winning. So we did it. Um, dinner, however, back to that. If you get a chance to go to Prime, you should grab the rib cap with a crab leg. Yes. Mm. Chef's kiss, so, so good. good.
Good morning. <laughs> we forgot to say good morning. We did. We actually just ate brunch up at the Eiffel Tower restaurant. We didn't really do anything this morning. We watched Great British Baking Show and I had some coffee down at the Vidara Market. I don't know what it's called, but it was good yeah. coffee. Slept in a little, yeah. rested, and now we're overstuffed with food. So we're gonna take a walk over to Caesars. Yes. <laughs> All right, we had to get some Christmas gifts over at Caesars. Headed back to the hotel, drop stuff off. Courtesy of the wonderful Kinos, BJ and Candace, uh, we are trying a pistachio martini for the first time. Do you want to try it on camera? I was gonna cheers you. All right, let's cheers then. Hope it's not as creamy as it looks. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. That is delicious. Dangerously good. Dangerously good. We are here at the Gem Bar in Aria. Holy crap. Playing some Kino here because we are with the Kino Kid. You can see a vlogger right there. Vloggers, vlogging, vloggers. Yeah, vloggers, vlogging, vloggers. And we actually just got seven out of seven on a, it's a 25 cent bet on the card. $1,700. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to come to the gem bar more often, I guess. All right, it's a uh, 440, 430. We've been sitting at the gem bar. We have. For a long time, playing on like 30 bucks. You may or have at least seen. Mine was. I ended up winning a hand pay on Kino. Yeah. 25 cent card. Who knew? Yeah, who knew you um, could do that? But we were hanging out with some friends, Vegas Harway and Kino Kid. Kino Leave the link down below. Yep. Check them out. Um, also, she loves the slots. First yeah. time meeting him. And his wife. Nancy, thank you for saying hi to us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. We got dinner and we got a hockey game to go to tonight. And you're not going to see this dinner on any other vlog. So hopefully you're still watching. That's right. All right. We are headed to dinner. That's right. Got we're a going, quick change. We're going to Yellowtail tonight. Not going to vlog our dinner, but we do want to say a quick shout out to Christine and John for stopping us on the way yeah. to Bellagio. We Very just nice to meet you guys. Ran into you at the monorail stop. That's right. Or the tram. Tram. Yes. Let's go eat. All right, if you want to see a full review on Yellowtail, we're going to leave a link up above and show a picture of it right over our faces right now. Um, we did this a couple of years ago. We called it the best view in Las Vegas. Um, check it out. It's one of our favorites, and that's why we're doing it tonight, but also keeping it just to us. That's right. Just had dinner at Yellowtail. How that place is delicious. It was great. Um, we've yeah. been there multiple times. It's one of those where, like, if we weren't doing this recording stuff, we'd go there all the time. Yep. What was your favorite bite? Short rib. Oh, mine was the tuna pizza. Tuna pizza was great. The protein so roll was great. Um, we've had pretty much every dish except for the Pop Rocks one. The Pop Rocks one was good. It was crazy. So shocking, though. Super weird, but yeah. we got a game to go to. That's right.
All right, we're back in our room. Um, Golden Knights game, awesome. See, we had a fun time. Yeah. It they won. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they won 4-1. Really was not a contest for the most part. Um, $300 all total yeah. after taxes and fees. Good seats. Very good seats, right on the, what did you, half ice line, is that what it's called? I would call it half court line in basketball, but I don't think that's what it is. Around center ice, I think. Okay. Yeah. And then we get to meet up with a couple of our um, channel members, which was really fun as well. So thanks to Ranking and Mrs. Ranking, is how they're known. I believe it's <laughs> Kevin our... and Terry. Okay. Yeah. Finally. Uh, they've actually been following us for over two years, so yeah. super excited about that. Um, and then we just gambled a little bit, but we're back in the room. I think we're going to get some snacks from our Yeah. Leftovers. We actually have some Rosa Mexicano left, so we're going to try to eat that and then go to bed with a full stomach. <laughs> All right. That'll go well. That'll go good. See you in the morning. Good morning, now good afternoon to our day five of our honeymoon trip. We actually ended up having to check out of our hotel this morning, so nothing really done. We made it over to M Resort though, yeah. which is the very end of the strip. It is. Uh, our Uber driver actually said like one more exit and you're in California. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah. initially I think he said that we were going to no man's land. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we did just come out here and we tried out their $99 per person. Per person. Fancy brunch. And now we're trying to figure out what to do for the rest of the afternoon because we have a evening, uh, late night. Actually, it's a late night. Like. Yeah. We have about <clears throat> three to five hours to kill depending on how bad the airport is. That's true. All right, we are back on the strip, and we are actually going to gamble here at Planet Hollywood for a little bit. So, round trip to and from uh, the M Resort for the buffet was about fifty-one bucks. Mm -hmm. And so, add that in if you're to look at the cost. Another forty plus minutes. Yeah. Making a comeback here at Planet Hollywood. All right, let's see some coins. Coin, 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 coin. No coin. But we got, yeah, it's over a hundred bucks in that one. All right, we just left Planet Hollywood. Uh, about three hours of gaming, so we'll see. Maybe we'll stay at Caesars one of these times. That'd be really cool. Caesars Palace is on my list to stay at, yeah. so that'd be kind of fun. Uh, we got about two hours left before we got to go to the airport. airport. Um, that's at 940 is our flight. So, we'll see. So we went to Aria. We had full intentions of going to the food, food hall. We were gonna go to the speakeasy for the ski lodge, and then the speakeasy at Aria. Both of them were closed for private events. Yeah, uh, even the entire Aria food yeah. hall is closed. Conferences seem to be back, and they are renting out large swaths of area. That's true. So we went to our favorite margarita spot, which is Javier's. Yes. Grabbed a little bite to eat. Now we get to go home. Now we're going out. That light, my eyes are not near as squinty. I think it's the shadow of my glasses on that light. You're doing a great job. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a it's long weekend. It's been a weekend. nice, fun, long trip. It has been. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. Um, but this was it. This was our actual honeymoon. That's right. So if you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. See ya.